We have one more set of pre-skills that are necessary before sine, cos, and tan become useful. So once again, as of right now, sine, cos, and tan are only useful in right triangles. So you have to have a right angle in it. In later grades, we'll show you how to use sine, cos, and tan in other triangles, but that's a later question. The first piece is that hypotenuse. It's no different than when we were working with the Pythagorean theorem. The hypotenuse is always your longest side. And remember, your right angle points at that longest side. This is my hypotenuse. From here on in, I'm going to shorten it down. I'm just going to use the word hype. Next, we're going to look at the opposite side and the adjacent side. Now, for these two sides, it's important where we start. You always need to be looking from a specific angle. Now, usually in the question, they'll either tell you which angle you're looking from, or you'll choose an angle to be looking from before you label it. So I'm going to look from this angle right here. Let's start with the opposite side. So from the angle I'm looking from, if I look way over there, the opposite side of the triangle, that's my opposite side. I'm going to be using OPP for short, for opposite. And adjacent, well, adjacent is a fancy word for beside. So the side that is beside the angle you're looking from, that's your adjacent side. So if I'm looking from this angle on the left, this must be my adjacent side. One way that sometimes helps you remember which one's the opposite and which one's the adjacent, well, the opposite, that's your X. And the adjacent, well, that's your new friend. You want your new friend right beside you, and you want your X as far away as you can get him. Let's label these triangles. Always start with the hypotenuse. My right angle points at this side, that must be my hypotenuse. Next step, I'm looking from this angle right here. So the far side of my triangle, that must be my opposite side, which leaves the one right beside, there's my adjacent. If I were looking from the other corner, my opposite and adjacent sides would be flipped, but my hypotenuse would not. Take, for example, this next triangle. Once again, starting with the hypotenuse, but now I'm looking from this corner up top. It's the same triangle as before, I'm just looking from a different corner. That's the corner I'm looking from, this must be my opposite side, which leaves the leg that is beside the angle I'm looking from, that's my adjacent side. You're going to come across right triangles set up in lots of different ways. You're going to have them twisted around, upside down, right side, left side, and you have to be able to recognize and label them. So on this last one, we still start with our right angle, and that points at our hypotenuse. We're still looking of an angle we're looking from, so we're looking from that corner, which makes this one my opposite side, and the side that beside it, that's my adjacent side. So it's important that you can label these triangles correctly, because we're going to be using them in the next section to help solve triangles, to help find angles and side lengths using sine, cos, and tan.